Nailed it. All right. Time to go talk to more people. Not you. Hi, Nancy. Did Josiah ever say anything about hiding his will somewhere? No, but he was always hiding stuff. I know because he was always writing reminders to himself about how to find it. But I whenever the subject of his will came up, he'd just say he was happy knowing we were going to be happy when he passed on. Time will tell. That's all he'd say. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea where Josiah may have hidden a safe deposit box key? He could have hidden it anywhere. He always said his favorite hiding place was right under people's noses. I'll be back in a little bit. Thanks again, Nancy. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so... Am I supposed to do the telegram thing now, or is that, isn't that just an ongoing quest for money? Oh, Nancy, I'm afraid there's been more trouble. <laughs> Don't tell me something else blew up. It's Emily. She... Oh, this is silly. I'm her guardian. I should just make her sell this place. She's only 17, for Pete's sakes. She should be out meeting boys and going to parties, not trying to run a business. Miss Willoughby, That's not very girl boss of you. Just go ask her and make her tell you everything. Wait, I was just talking to... No, oh, I should have talked to Jane first. Okay. Hi again. Jane told you, didn't she? No. <laughs> Not really. That picture on the wall over there, I saw it move. I was just sitting here and it moved all by itself. I saw it move. I really did. Last week, a book fell off the shelf for no reason. And before that, I heard these weird noises. And almost every day I hear a voice, like a whisper, coming out of nowhere. Jane thinks it's nerves, but I... I don't want to talk about this. Did you see Jim Archer? I'm afraid I don't have very good news. The jewelry wasn't insured? Your mom dropped the insurance in order to save money for... Shh! Did you hear that? Hear what? Shh! Nothing. I'm <laughs> going to have to sell the inn, aren't I? You know, it's possible... You're gonna have to go to a psych ward. possible that the will that was found was not the will Josiah wrote. You mean, he may have left us money after all? No. That's wishful thinking. And I refuse to get my hopes up again because they'll probably just get dashed again. Listen, I feel bad enough that you drove all the way out here for nothing. Maybe you should just go home. Would you mind if I stayed for a while? No, but I really don't feel like being sociable right now. There's nothing for you to do. I'd like to figure out if Josiah hit I'd like it. to see if Josiah hit a second will somewhere. <laughs> what are you? Some kind of Sam Spade? Well, I don't just know because I've never solved a mystery before doesn't mean I can't. Anyway, there's no harm in trying, right? Who knows? I might turn out to be good at it. Be my guest. So this is like her first official mystery? Is that what we're saying? I'll be back in a little bit. Thanks again, Nancy. What could have made this picture move? Oh, I, I thought I was going to take it off the shelf and look at it. All right. All right. Go talk to Jane again. So, what did Emily say? Did she tell you about the pictures and the voices? How long has this been going on? For about two weeks, I guess. You know what? I'll bet it's me. <laughs> I'll bet it finally hit Emily that I'm just not glory and I never will be and that running this place is always gonna be all up to her. And it was just more than her poor mind could bear. Jane, not everything is about you, actually. I'd like to kind of look around. Is that okay with you? You betcha. And keep an eye out for those tools. The sheriff's not going to investigate. He said since nobody got robbed at gunpoint or anything, coming out here again just didn't seem necessary. Said it sounded to him like the jewelry had just been misplaced. You see, I... well, it only felt fair to tell him about Emily's, you know, delicate state of mind. Where did that barred bounce game that's in the parlor come from? Do you know? Emily says Josiah Crowley brought it in one day and just left it. Said it was so guess, as in him, would have something to do while they waited for a table. I mean, yeah, that's... that's the first rule of Papa's Pizzeria, so... Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye now. 
Bye now. Should we take a look at the game? Well, how much money do I have? I can spare five cents. This is going to... Okay. So yellow's got to match with yellow. Okay. Oh, I, I think I remember this. It's like, a, it's like a sliding puzzle, basically. Which I'm not good at. I might just fast forward this part. First try! Keen! What, that's it? <laughs> Alright. Jane, give me a prize. Or at, at least give me my table. What's cooking? Huh. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Okay, well. That was worthless. Let's go outside. Go over here. I'm gonna walk around. Got it. Looks like someone recently had a key appraised. Hmm. I wonder what key that could be. I almost just let that paper fly away. I thought this was like just a little... Oh, it's a windy day! Oh, a miniature golf course! Oh, no. Swell! Oh no, Nancy. It's... it's not swell. Get away from there. Let's go to other people's properties. A oh, barn. Canny. The Topham School for the Study and Development of Paranormal Powers. I know this font. Over here, Miss Drew. What the? Find the toy mouse and give it to Yuri, would you please? Otherwise, he'll just keep meowing. He hates strangers. Kitty. I do not remember this at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Find the toy mouse yet? I believe it's by the table. You have like 20 tables. I can't move anyway. Oh, there it is. That is an unfortunate looking cat. <laughs> can I pet you? Oh, I can just leave. <laughs> How nice of you to drop by. And thank you for walking instead of parking in the driveway. I'm expecting a pupil. I'd hate for her to have to park on the road. I didn't have a choice but to walk here. How did you know who I was? If one is to teach others how to develop and use their paranormal gifts, it's only logical that one must possess such gifts oneself. Does that mean you can read minds or tell the future or what exactly? The paranormal includes telepathy or communicating by sending and receiving thoughts, extrasensory perception or perceiving that which cannot physically be seen or heard, and psychokinesis, using one's psychic energy to reshape or move objects. I blinked out during that whole thing. Jeepers! You can do all that? Yes. Well, on occasion. As mm -hmm. I tell my students, increasing one's rate of success is simply a matter of practice. Does everyone have paranormal powers? To some degree, yes. The goal of the Topham School for the Study and Development of Paranormal Powers is to enable students to make the most of whatever gifts they have. I take them through exercises designed to help them increase their output of phantasmic energy. If you want to sign up for an introductory session, I believe I have an opening today. No. No, thank you. Oh. I'm afraid I'm busy, young lady. Far too busy to engage in idle conversation. Guess what? You've been doing it this entire time. You're not trying to hide something, are you, Mr. Topham? I'll be blunt, Miss Drew. I've discovered that the more time I spend with the, uh, 
shall we say, intellectually unendowed, the more my cerebral pulsation seem to diminish. Mm. I'm afraid I cannot speak to you further unless and until you prove that you are worthy. That is, that your brain waves are not unacceptably inferior and thus deleterious to mine. How would you like my inferior fist in your face? How would I do that? What I have here is an exercise in logic. If you can discern the correct solution, then I'll know that conversing with you will do me no psychic harm. You may take it with you. I do like this song. Wait, is this from the Haunted Carousel? Would it be okay if I looked around? Go right ahead. The place is more like a museum than a house. I can look around your house. Are you sure I won't do you any psychic damage? What do you do with these? I put them on the windshields of cars parked in the area. Great advertising. Ever put them on cars at the Lilac Inn? All the time. I've gotten quite a few pupils that way. Sounds like a waste of paper. You know we're headed into a depression, right? He's still meowing. He's like, oh, if you give him the toy mouse, he won't meow anymore. He's still meowing. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Jump scare, said Nancy Drew. Oh. Diary. What are you when you win, Bard Bounce? What poet is the cat's meow? What will Para, my miniature golf course, get you? What's Gloria's middle name? The coder is in the rivet. Two to the right. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, it did say Captain's Cove. Ah, yeah. Wait, this is from the um, typewriter, wasn't it? The trivet. Okay. I like how he had instructions on where his book is, but he can only access it in the book, which is hidden. <laughs> Alright. I think... I don't know how long I've been recording, but I better call it a day pretty soon or else I'm going to be recording The man long. on stage in this picture, is that Josiah? Yes, that's from a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream that he directed and starred in. It closed after two nights, but he didn't care. He loved that play. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's awful. Okay, I think we'll call it a day. Let me get out of this spooky house. I don't like that squeaky door either. Alright, well, we'll be back for another episode later. And thanks for watching!